welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is staying safe. Today I am going to go ahead and make you a simple, easy salad. That is what I'm going to be making you today. A nice, simple, easy salad. And what we're going to be making this salad with, into my plate over here, I have some nice shrimp, some jumbo shrimp that I have here, that I went ahead and I marinate earlier in the day for several hours. I marinated with some olive oil. Um, some garlic powder, onion powder, chili flakes, um, some vegetable bouillon, parsley, um, black pepper, all those good stuff which I'm going to be listing in my um, description screen. I went ahead and I marinate my shrimp there. I put it into my refrigerator for a couple hours. I took it out 45 minutes ago so it could be nice and tall. So when you're ready to cook it, you always want it to cook your meat or seafood at room temperature. Also, I have some nice steak here that I went ahead and marinate too. And what I add into my marinade here is some olive oil, black pepper, chili flakes, garlic powder, onion powder, some um, beef bouillon, and some turmeric that I marinate my steak here. Also, I did add a little bit of turmeric and some paprika to both of my shrimp and my beef. And into my bowl over there, I have some beautiful romaine lettuce that we're going to be needing, some red onions, cucumbers, carrots, and some tomatoes. And also I will be adding some um, olive and some avocado into my salad. I will be adding my avocado into my salad. So first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and start with my steak because some of my family member doesn't eat shrimp so I'm gonna cook my shrimp last but I will be starting with my steak so today I'm making you a salad with some steak and some shrimp so let's go ahead and get started I hope everyone is doing well welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel guys I welcome you Show me the love, kindly give me the thumbs up, like and share guys, like and share my videos. It's very important for you guys to share my videos. Um, for all who's been watching my channel now for the past um, couple of weeks, I've been giving out grocery hampers to families that are very much in need. Families that lose their jobs and um, going through a very difficult time. I've been doing that in the next coming weeks. I'll be cooking some food, which I will be sharing out some dinners and lunches to some families that are very much in need. So stay tuned for that. The best way to support my channel, guys, is to like and share, guys. Like and share. I'm not even asking for a donation. All I'm asking for is for you guys to like and share on all of your social media, your family, your friends, your co-worker, wherever you could get the word out for me. Do that, guys. And this will help me to continue to do what I'm doing for these families that are very much in need. Okay? So first, let's go ahead and start with our dish tonight. So over here, I have a nice, large 14-inch cast iron pan here. And I have that a nice high heat. I'm going to bring that to a nice high heat there. And then we will start with our stick. Guys, I know I haven't been posting videos every day. I normally post a video every day and for the past couple of days, like three days or so, I haven't been posting a video. That is because I do have a full-time job. I do work in the medical field and I have a full-time job. And some days it's very difficult. Some days I come home very late and it's very difficult. I do a video every single day, but some days I don't get to post the videos because I get finished very late. Uh, so that is the reason you haven't seen me post any video for the past two or three days. I will try my best to post a video a day for you guys. Uh, but some days it's very difficult because I do have a full-time job. So please forgive me for that. So we're still at there. I'm going to move my vegetables away for now. And let's get started with our steak. So I'm waiting for my oil to come to a nice high heat there. And there are 300 close to 400 videos on my channel, guys. Please go ahead and check those out. I'm sure some of it are buried into my um, channel there. So you can go ahead and check those out. I'm very versatile. I cook all different type 
of males, all different culture, all different countries. Males, I try to be very versatile and cook different types of recipe here for you guys. If there's something you would like me to make for you, kindly send me a comment. Leave me a comment there. I do read all comments. So my skillet is nice and hot. Let's start with our steak now. So these are very thin steak. They're not thick steak. They're very thin steak, so it's not going to take a long time to cook. It's going to take about three minutes on each side. And the reason I get this steak is boneless steak, and it's go well with the salad. So let's start adding the steak to our pot here, our nice large skillet. That's when you deal with a nice large skillet, you can get all your pieces into your skillet there. So I am going to let that cook up nicely for about 2 to 3 minutes on each side. In the meantime, let's go ahead and start with our salad here. Okay, so while my, while my steak is cooking up nicely there, we're going to start cut our vegetables for the salad. I'm going to move my shrimp away for now and let's get started with the salad. So over here guys, we're going to start making our salad now. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I am going to do is to start with my carrot. So what I'm doing with my carrot, I'm not cutting it. I'm just going to be stripping my carrot like that. So it's nice and thin. To go into my salad. That's all I'm going to be doing with this carrot here is just to take my um, and this is a very simple easy recipe. Look how thin that is and that's how I like to eat my carrots into my salad. And you're going to continue to do that until all your carrots is nicely stripped down. Checking our steak here, and look how beautiful that is cooking up there. Look at the color. Nice and tender, juicy steak there. I'm going to give it a nice sauce. Look at that thing. How can you go wrong? You never want to overcook your steak. Let me get my camera in so you can see what it looks like. And my steak is cooking up nicely there. In the meantime, my carrots, I'm cutting up my carrots and look how beautifully done these are. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this to my plate. Then we'll start preparing the other ingredients for our salad. Look how beautiful that is. Nice and thinly stripped. So let's get started with our cucumber. And I have a nice English cucumber here. All I'm going to do is cut it down right down to the middle. And we are going to go ahead and thinly plant our cucumber on the side, just like that. So you're going to Slice your cucumber to the side, nice and thin. As thick as you like it or as thin as you like it. I like my cucumber thin, so I'm cutting it nice and thin there for my salad, the same way I did with my carrot. And that's how I like to cut my cucumbers. So I'm going to go ahead and continue cutting these cucumbers and then I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, so our steak is finished. Let's go ahead and remove it from the pan. 
these are thin steaks, so you don't want to overcook your steak. Look how beautifully done that is. Nice and juicy. I am going to set this aside and let it rest for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, let's go ahead and start with our shrimp. Into the same pan, we are going to add our shrimp. And let this lay flat down into the pan here. You don't want your shrimp on top of each other. And I'm going to let my shrimp cook for about a minute and a half on each side. Shrimp doesn't take a long time to cook, guys. Right? Very fast. I'm going to let that cook for a minute and a half. In the meantime, I will continue to cut my vegetables. Then I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, so to the pan, let's add a little bit of butter. Let's take some butter into the pan here. Not a lot, just a little. And let's go ahead and give our shrimp a nice turn here. Look how beautiful that is cooking up. Shrimp doesn't take long and you do not want to overcook your shrimp. Otherwise they'll be rubbery and you will not like it. So you want to give your shrimp about a minute and a half on each side. So I'm going to continue to turn all my shrimp here. This is cooking up so perfect. And that butter and the olive oil is going to flavor these shrimp so good. It's going to be such a delicious shrimp. It's about 25 shrimp in my pan here. Let me bring my camera in so you can see what it looks like. Look how beautifully that shrimp is cooking up. Look at that. So I'm going to let this continue to cook for about a minute. Then we'll go ahead and remove it from our pan. Okay, our shrimp is finished. Let's go ahead and remove it from our pan here. This is cooked up so nicely. Look how beautifully these are finished here. This is going to go so well with the salad. Look at that, guys. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. Okay, guys, so my shrimp is finished. My steak is finished, which I went ahead and I stripped into nice little slices here. And these are very, very tender steaks. So I have my steak there. I have my lettuce. I have my carrots, my tomatoes, my onions, and my cucumber. And I wanted to add an avocado, but my avocado, unfortunately, is not fully ripe. So I'm not going to be adding my avocado today. So let's go ahead and assemble this dish here. And what I did guys, I separate my family that doesn't eat shrimp, I separate their salads in a different bowl here. So I don't want to contaminate that with the shrimp. So into my large dish over here, let me move some of these aside so I can show you what I'm doing. So into my large dish there, what I'm going to do is to add my lettuce. I am going to be adding all of my ingredients here, my tomatoes, my carrots, onion, all of it there, and let's give this a nice toss. Let's give this a nice toss here, just like that. And to that, I am going to be adding 
some steak, which I have here. Just like that. And I will be adding my shrimp. Now we're going to go ahead and give this a nice full mix here. All that good stuff there. Mix it nicely into the salad. And if you want, you can go ahead and squeeze some nice lemon juice. I don't add anything to my salad because my family do like different dressing and they go ahead and add their own dressing. Some of them don't like dressing on their salad. So I really don't add anything. What I do, I add my meat, my shrimp, and if they need anything else, they will go ahead and add that. But I'm going to show you what this salad looks like. This is a delicious, beautiful salad that I have here with all that good shrimp. I am going to serve it up and let you see what it looks like. But look at that beauty there. Look at that. So guys, let me go ahead and serve this up and I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, and there you have it. A nice, delicious, homemade salad with some shrimp and some steak. There you have it. I'm going to bring it closer to the camera so you can see what it looks like. Look at that beautiful salad there. Look at that. Lettuce, tomatoes, onion, cucumber, carrot, shrimp, and beef. Look at that. Look how beautiful this salad turned out. There you have it guys. If you like this video guys, kindly give it a thumbs up. On the right hand corner of the screen there is a notification bell. You can go ahead and click on that so you will not miss out on any of my video. Today I bring you a nice, simple, easy recipe. Nice homemade salad with some shrimp and some steak. Please remember guys, like and share, like and share. That is the best, best way to support my channel guys. Please show me the love and like and share. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.